Hey guys, what's cracking? If there's two things that I love doing most, it's journaling and watching film. So here we have the best of both worlds, and that is my film journal. By no means did I create this idea, I've seen it all over Pinterest and other sources. So just sit back, relax, and journal along with me. The first thing that I do is open up Google Chrome. I have Ecosia, which is a great extension that you should look into and I open up Google Slides. I actually have a specific slides document that I use for my film journal on every page. And the reason for this is because when I go into my page setup, I have the page dimensions so that they fit my exact journal, so that I don't have to worry about resizing or fitting my journaling correctly. So I copy and paste the last page into my document and then just delete the text box so that I have the same exact page to work with. Then I open up a new tab with Pinterest. You can follow me on there at Madeline Curlis if you want ideas. And then I just go into the search bar and search up the movie that I am making the journal for. For this one, it's The Perks of Being a Wallflower, so I just look up that and I'll usually put film stills or photos next to it to find the best um, quality photos. Then I copy and paste it into my document and just resize it to where I want it. And that's what I'll do for a little while until I think I have enough pictures that will fill my journal. The next thing that I like to do is create a text box so I can add some quotes from the movie. So I'll just open a new tab and search up the movie and then quotes. So for this one, I searched up the Perks of Being a Wallflower quotes or quotes from the Perks of Being a Wallflower. And then I just click on the first website that I find and scroll through to find quotes that I like. Sometimes I'll copy and paste, but other times I'll just type it because it's easier. I like to use crimson text font with size 14. Once I'm done with that, it's all clean up, so I just add some more photos if I feel like I need them, I'll adjust the text box, and then we're ready to print. When you're printing, you have to make sure that you only print the page that you want, so you're not reprinting the same thing over and over again. So I just pick the page that I want, and I print it. Now it's time to get started on the fun part, the journaling. So this is my film journal and these are some old books and some extra supplies that I like to use um, and a random flower for the aesthetic, you know. So this is the inside of my film journal, you open it up. And then I've done three other films. I've done La La Land, Call Me By Your Name, and The Breakfast Club. So this one is next, and I'm just going to wipe down the pages, make sure everything's clean, ready to go, and I'm going to cut out my photos and save my quotes for later.
time to rip out the souls of some of my book-loving friends because <laughs> I'm gonna rip out a page of an old book. Um, I looked for the word wallflower because I thought that would be a nice touch because the movie is called Perks of Being a Wallflower. So once I found that page, I just ripped it out. Sorry guys. out these quotes and doing some rearranging of the layout, I thought I would just talk about the movie for a little bit. So the movie is The Perks of Being a Wallflower. It's written by Stephen Chbosky and it's directed by Stephen Chbosky and it's based on his book. So if you haven't read the book and only seen the movie or vice versa, I highly, highly suggest you do both. I saw the movie first and then I read the book very recently and I think it's a great translation. So I'm just going to read the summary to you. Um, it says, as a freshman in high school, Charlie, portrayed by Logan Lerman, struggles with bullies, depression, bad influences, and girls. Based on a book written by Stephen Chbosky, The Perks of Being a Wallflower thrives as a film, which I couldn't agree with more. While Charlie wants to survive high school, he forces himself to participate in school functions to prevent himself from falling back into his depression. The not-so-typical teenager finds himself being taken under the wing by a few seniors and has never been so excited to have friends again. Finally, being happy, Charlie experiments with drugs, sex, and the party scene, but underlying problems from the past cause Charlie to spiral out of control. So the story is definitely an emotional roller coaster, but extremely, extremely impactful. It's something so real and not talked about enough because I personally know so many teenagers who either go through it themselves or know someone who has gone through this. This movie is really emotional and it makes you laugh, cry, feel alive in the moment and just really makes you want to appreciate life. I have to say the acting is a little bit subpar but that's not really important to the storyline. I think the story is more important than the acting itself. But my favorite character is probably Patrick, who is played by Ezra Miller. I just love his character and just the way he shows his emotion and executes the character really well. So now I want to talk about some of the film techniques that the movie uses. So I think that one of the main things that the film uses is lighting tricks. So they kind of use lighting to their advantage to make you feel a certain way. So especially when Charlie's struggling with his depression, the days are really cloudy and the nights are long because that's kind of how Charlie sees the world. The story is told through Charlie's point of view and rarely explains other characters' perspectives, which kind of makes the story so much more intriguing. And what I mean by this is that the film uses a lot of implicit shots, which basically just means that they imply that the character is sad, but not necessarily coming out and saying, I'm sad. So you kind of have to use your imagination and really focus on the story to kind of get the vibe from what other characters are feeling. Hopefully that makes sense. Some of my favorite quotes, if you couldn't read them already, say, enjoy it because it's happening. We accept the love we think we deserve. And in that moment, I swear we were infinite. I think these are great quotes and I really honestly live with them every day. And I kind of think about them without even knowing it because these are just kind of foundational points in life. But overall, I just think it's a really great movie and a great book. So if you haven't seen it or haven't read the book, I highly, highly suggest it. And if you have, make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. I'd love to start a conversation with you guys and just hear what you think about this movie. Anyways, that is all we have for today. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. 
be sure to subscribe like comment down below um i love you all so much and i'll see you guys next time bye